Hello everyone, we will continue that topic how to send a Adobe form or PDF form as an email attachment and as a part of that we finished with the first seven steps. Now we will move on to next step. Before we move on to next step, we will go for an understanding so that next steps will make sense to us. As of now, what we did, we created the send request process. We added the recipient through one class. We created the document. We add the attachment through another class. So we have two independent classes. With you performed some steps with one class, we performed some steps with another class. But is there any linkage between both of them? There's no linkage as of now between both of them. If there is no linkage between both of them, both are both with the help of these two classes, we performed independent steps. So ultimately, there will be no result at that point of time. Suppose I will simply click on to compose button and add the recipient. But if I will not add the attachment, I will not write subject, I will not write body of the mail. So is there any meaning of this? Ultimately, we are sending a blank mail. So it means we need to set that document. We need to set a linkage between both the classes. So what I will do now, I will set a linkage between both the classes with the help of next step. And what is next step? Set the document. So I will go to first class. Once I will do the practical, you will automatically understand. In CL underscore BCS class, we have a method. The name of the method is set underscore document. So I will simply, simply call this method. Whenever I will call this method, you will automatically understand how the linkage between the two classes will be set. So I will go to the program. I will go to pattern button. I will go to ABAP object patterns. Now set underscore document is a instance method. It means we require an object, yes. What is the object of CL underscore BCS class? We declared CLO underscore BCS. Now, what is the class CL underscore BCS? I will go to F4 help and I will use the method set underscore document. I will use this method and I will go for end. Now, I will simply, simply uncomment try and catch block. So, hello and why? So, I called the method set underscore document through the object. Now, here, what I will pass? I will simply, simply pass the object of the document class, document class. So you can simply, simply understand we did a linkage between both the classes. We called the method set underscore document of first class and we passed the object of the second class. So this is the way, or you can understand in a way, we simply, simply add the document, whatever the document we did. Document means subject, body, attachment, all these things we pass to our mail sending process. So this is the way how we did the linkage between the two classes. Now we will move on to next step. What is next step? Next step is activate or deactivate 
immediate sending. The word itself is saying, if we will activate the immediate sending, then what will happen? Whenever we will send, the mail will go immediately into the inbox. But if we will deactivate immediate sending, so in that case, what will happen? Mail will not go immediately in the inbox. It will go at regular intervals. Suppose SAP basis person decided that whatever the mails are coming, it will go after every two hours. The basis person set the frequency. So whatever the mails we are sending, an immediate sending is deactivated. So mails will be in the queue after two hours or after 10 hours or after one day, whatever the frequency is set by the basis person, all mails will go at that point of time. But if the immediate sending is activated, so at that time, it will not check for the frequency. Mail will go immediately into the inbox of the recipient. So what I will do, I will simply, simply call this step. So I will go to the pattern button. I will go to a map object patterns. Now, same to same object, same to same class. Now we will go for the method and name of the method is set send immediate set send immediately description is itself saying you can activate or deactivate the send you, you can activate or deactivate the process of immediate setting i will go to ok suppose in our current scenario we will activate the immediate send once i will show you in the debugging at that time, in one scenario, I will make it deactivate also. So at this point of time, we activated the immediate sending. Now, what is next step? We will simply, simply send the mail. This is what we did. If I will go for mail sending process, what we did? We simply created the send request. Yes, we added the recipient. Subject of the mail, body of the mail, attachment of the mail. Now we need to click on to which button? Send button. So I will go for send. So go to go for send. I will simply, simply call the send method. Again, I will go to pattern button. And have you seen? I am performing all these steps now through CL underscore BCS class only because now document is done. Subject, body, attachment, everything done. Now, whatever we are doing now, set, send, immediately, send, these all steps we are performing through which class now? CL underscore BCS class only. Now, I will go for next pattern a back object patterns and now I will call the method send. Send. Send document. I will go for OK. Now I will simply, simply uncomment the try block and catch one. Now important understanding here. Yes. Now I will firstly, firstly check the type of result. I will double click on to this method. If you see the type of result, result is of type Boolean, Boolean. You all know if I will double click here, Boolean means what? Either it will be true or false. If I will go to that domain, if I will go to value range, you can see X means true and space means false. If 
the mail sent successfully if mail sent successfully this particular variable will return what x x means true if mail has not sent successfully yes it will return space so what i will do i will simply simply declare one variable in front of result suppose i am writing lv underscore result the type of lv underscore result will be same as that of result okay so i will just copy that type i will copy this anyways it is character one i can directly declare character one also i will write data lv underscore result type I will declare. I'll check the syntax and activate. Now, if we are able to send the mail, if there is no error, this particular variable will return x. X means true. If there is some error, this variable will return false, will return space. So what we will do? We'll go for our last step. What is our last step? We need to commit. Commit means we need to save the, we need to save this particular thing. So we will save. Now, whenever we are sending the mail to external recipient, suppose, Whenever you want to send the mail to external recipient means this particular email addresses. At that time, commit work is mandatory, mandatory. If you are not going for commit work, yes, the mail will not go. Yes. But if we are sending the mail within SAP itself, Suppose we, uh, we did the process of SAP also. If I want to send the mail to within SAP user, at that time, commit is optional. There's no need for the commit. But whenever you are sending the mail to external recipient, yes, never, never forget to commit. Yes, I saw, yes, we did the steps very well. But because we have not done the commit part, because of that, the mail is not going to the inbox of the user. Yes. So whenever you are sending the mail to external recipient, never, never forget to commit. Commit means we are saving the finally work. Yes. So I will simply, simply save. And now I will save based upon a condition. If LV underscore result is not initial or I can write in such a way also if LV underscore result is equal to capital X. You can write in that way also. If there is no error, only in that case we should commit the work. Else, there is no need to commit at all. If there is some error at all, why you are committing? If there is no error, this particular variable will return the true result. And then we will simply, simply commit. I will write commit work. Never forget to commit if you are sending the mail to external recipient. Yes. Within SAP, it will work without commit also. So what is the summary of this video? In this video, we finished with all the steps of sending the PDF form or Adobe form as an email attachment. So in this video, we finished with this four steps. Firstly, we set that document. What is the meaning of this step? This step is used to set a linkage between the two independent classes, CL underscore DCS, CL underscore document underscore DCS. 
So we called the method set underscore document and ultimately we pass the object of the document class. This is the object of DCS class, CL underscore DCS. This is the object of CL underscore document underscore DCS class. Now, after that, we call the method set send immediately. You can set it to true or false depends upon the project requirement. If we are sending it to true, so whenever send will, whenever this step will execute, the mail will send immediately. But if send send immediately is space, so mails will be added in a queue and the queue will be cleared after a certain amount of time only. And the frequency is decided by the basis person depends upon the customer requirement. Now, after that, we simply, simply call the send method. If this method is returning the value true, it means there is no error. If there is no error, we simply, simply committed the work. Yes, whenever you are sending the mail to external recipient, never forget to commit. In case of internal, it is optional. You can, this step is optional. You are writing or not writing commit work, it will work. Now, in the next video, we will understand the full process in the debugging mode and we will check are the mails is going to the inbox of the recipient. We will understand the full process in the debugging mode in the upcoming videos. So that's it in this video. Thank you.